great to get to spend some time away from town council with <laughs> town councilor David Ames, who has been in that chair for a lot of hours the last couple of weeks, have been. getting everybody's input, uh, going behind closed doors to talk things over with the state transportation secretary watching the meeting, yeah. Uh, yeah. texting uh, Tom Davis, who was kind of the intermediary in all of this. It's over. Uh, at least I think it is well, for now. Is it? For this vote, yes. Yeah. Uh, What's next? Well, uh, I think I mean, that is it, is it over? Is it out of the county well, court now, at least for a while? And 30 percent of the design has yeah. been done. So there's 70 percent left. And it is our intention at the town to be involved on an ongoing basis to protect those uh, expectations and considerations that we attach to our agreement. You I've been watching town council work on this for a long time and, and work with the county for a long time. Uh, there has not been in past years a whole lot of trust between the town and the county, the town and the state. We always feel like we're getting picked on uh, on Hilton Head Island a little bit and taken advantage of. Do you see a level of trust changing that, that is going to make all of this work and be possible? I think it's mandatory that it happens and I think personalities have played an inordinate amount of uh, pressure or created pressure. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm optimistic that that's changing. Uh, it, it disturbs me that the public is so vocal in expressing the, the mistrust between the county and the town. I don't think that's helpful or mm -hmm. positive. Uh, but as the mayor said, creating trust among council members, mm -hmm. between council and county council is important. And going forward, our relationship to the secretary mm -hmm. of SCDOT transportation is critical as well. And I think that's, that's where we came out. Mm -hmm. when, when the mayor read the letter mm -hmm. from Secretary Tall, it was a decision on our part whether or not we were going to trust him at that moment. So you obviously, you, you voted to, to put that trust uh, mm -hmm. together and, and put it to the test. The good news is you're not running for re-election. So <laughs> you, can, you don't have a future agenda in all this, but you've lived here for a long, long time. Is this a good thing? Yes and no. Okay. Uh, my thoughts evolved over time. My reaction at the outset uh, was that we have to preserve this community in a, uh, a way that was important to its value system and to our reputation and brand. Uh, over the process of learning more and more about what SCDOT was saying was mandatory um, and unfortunately I think the town did not play an important card right at the very beginning. And, and I think we spent a good deal of time saying it's going to work out without the town's direct involvement. And there was a citizens group that was formed mm -hmm. in response to that inactivity, perceived inactivity on the part of the town. And so I think that played an important role in elongating the process. Okay. We, we had to deal with that public opinion. And, and eventually, from my personal standpoint, mm -hmm. I came to the conclusion with the cards that were on the table, our protection of the Gullock community in Stoney and the beautification potential of our entryway mm -hmm. were things that we absolutely had to protect. The safety issues and so on, to the degree that they weren't embedded in the process, had to be embedded from our standpoint. So you think they're going to be? Um, <laughs> yes. Or is, this, is the word trust involved here? No, no. <laughs> okay. uh, pragmatic pragmatic yeah. issues may play a role, but I think it is absolutely essential from the majority of council members that those things happen. Yeah. You worked with Charles Frazier. Yeah, I never got to meet him and feel bad about that. Uh, you worked with him. You worked for him. Uh, you know his vision for this island that he had. Would he have liked this? How much time do we have? Yeah. 
Um, In 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, Char Charles was a mercur mercurial person, very creative, uh, very complex. And so I, I wouldn't want to presume to know what he would have done. My impression, though, is that he was always looking forward, okay. understanding what was to come in large part before other people mm -hmm. might have seen the same uh, information or come to the same conclusion. And so I think, yes, he would have said, we have to do this, but we're going to do it the right way. He'd have probably had a whole different design for the thing done five years ago or 10 years ago well, or 20 years ago clearly, that, that, but, to make it happen. But, but even his vision yeah. had consequences on the community of this stony neighborhood. Sure. So they're give and takes yeah. along this way. But if I had to bet, yeah. I think he would have come to the conclusion to do the bridge the right way, but it probably was necessary. Fabulous perspective. Thank you so much for the well, time. Thank you for your service. If I don't get a chance to well, talk to I, you before I, election time, uh, you've been a great asset to the community and the island, and, and I, for one, appreciate it. Thank well, you Thank so you very much, Bob. David Ames, Hilton Head Town Councilor. We're going to be back and talk about the county's angle in all of this with Tom Reitz when we continue on the WHHI Daily News.